Hello, Capricorn. I hope you are well. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for joining. This is a tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn during the month of August, moving into September here for the sign of Capricorn. Yeah, of any placements. Hope you guys are doing well. Let's see what we got coming in here for the sign of Capricorn. This is a two person spread. You and someone else in your environment. It doesn't have to be love, but sometimes it is. Let's see. Capricorn, what's going on? Thirst and rebellion. Wow. Sacrifice. Mm. Okay, someone here is not giving up. This feels very convoluted. Um, this this feels like, okay, so bottom of the deck, let me break this down. We have the sacrifice energy, renunciation, offering, and letting go. There's something that is very cyclical here. I feel like you're trying to free yourself from a situation that is no longer. Well, then why are people still fighting is what I'm wondering. There's some sort of, maybe it's not a fight, but there's definitely a lot of energy here. It's almost like fireworks, but maybe in kind of like a, uh, I don't know. It feels very, um, five of wands ish. So it feels kind of like a battle. It feels like a battle guys. Okay. Cause we have the rebellion card. Upstart, tumult and revolution. 33. I feel like you're trying to strive for some sense of freedom with a situation that has caused like a massive amount of destruction here. Um, whether that's you or the other person, it feels like it feels like someone is trying to let go, trying to move away from a situation, but the other person keeps kind of like stirring the pot or like throwing some more um, problems into the mix somehow. But, but why? There's some sort of like power play or manipulative energy about this, I feel. I mean, it's almost like you guys have this power dynamic where it's like, oh, you think you're going to get away unscathed? We'll deal with this. And something else happens and causes some other kind of tower. Um, it's like someone wants to exert control of a situation that doesn't exist anymore. It like exists in the past. You know what I mean? And it's making it hard to leave this energy behind. We have the thirst card, craving, compulsion, and obsession. So this, there's a lot of threes here. Um, three, three, three. I'm seeing like lots of threes. I feel you're trying to build something new elsewhere this is yeah kind of frustrating all right what's going on here for the sign of capricorn left side is partner a capricorn let's see what we got coming in here show me capricorn's energy are they gonna throw out that devil card that capricorn card <laughs> okay you're in the king of cups beautiful let's see so it's like you're trying to control yourself from getting wrapped up in someone else's situation. This feels like someone wants to keep you around their finger, though. It's super strange. I don't know what good that would do. I feel like it's not good. I feel it's really kind of bad in a way. I mean, what is, what's good and what's bad to begin with? But it feels like, a, like someone's... It's not it's like they don't have good reasons or it's like a... It's a manipulation. Absolutely. Let's just call it like it is. Okay, partner A, please. Strength card. Yeah, I really do feel like you're trying to quell the situation. You're trying to silence the situation. Trying to get rid of any types of issues that come up this is kind of like a management kind of vibe is what i'm getting so it's like you're trying to make sure things don't get out of hand here and this all starts from within so i see you exerting a lot of self-control over yourself and your emotions and how this person affects you to begin with there's something about it that you're not letting them bother you and i feel like they don't like that there you go with your king of cups again exactly so this is you in a very confident state and like i said you're exerting that like emotional control over yourself here 
and drawing a line of there's some sort of boundary so it's like i'm not going to devolve into some sort of issue with you this is what i'm getting here's a page of pentacles coming out this is indicating some sort of new idea or new way of thinking that you're actually putting into practice and i do feel you're kind of like okay the way i do have to deal with this is to gain first control of myself because i cannot control other people and it's kind of like a release in a sense um or like a healthy kind of cathartic view here for you you're you're gaining um emotional stability because of this decision you make just saying so that's nice you could be dealing with a water sign an earth sign or a leo this is my scorpio card by the way partner b who's partner b how are you relating to this wow i feel someone is trying to like pull you down to what where they are and where they are is losing control and they feel the tables turning or the scales kind of shifting into your favor here and it's almost like you're saying i'm not going to meet you there anymore and i feel at one point you may have been on that level with them or it was kind of like a toe to toe or maybe um a tit for tat or somehow it was like a, it's a trigger that hel helped it just doesn't help it like it was a trigger that brought you guys both to a bad place okay and this person is realizing that same trigger is not affecting you the same way so there's some sort of enlightenment that you've achieved here especially seeing that strength card that has come out and yeah i just feel like there's a lot of self-mastery going on here um i wouldn't be surprised if we pull the mastery card later on but we'll see how this how this happens anyway it's like taking back your power and this person is getting really frustrated with that <laughs> okay um you're like no this is where i draw the line i'm not going to meet you on that level anymore not again not ever partner b who are you what do you have to say about this partner b justice see there are the scales goodness gracious so what is just in this matter is this is coming in in like a cause and effect kind of um wait a minute there's some sort of uh financial support being distributed here anyway what is just in this manner to someone is being in a state of separation starting a new life as well as being self-sustaining here but i feel like there's someone else here being sustained by another person mostly or seeking to be okay it's like some sort of financial thing all right partner b who is partner b here okay so you have communications coming in this is someone coming in um at first a little bit more meek okay and i say that because it's almost like so you're exerting exerting exuding king of cups they come in page of cups matching you so this is someone kind of saying yeah i realize that partner a here is uh, the more evolved emotionally person at this time and yeah a page of cups can be a little silly at times or a little um not sure there's a bit of toying that could have been happening here is what i'm saying so there's a bit of mature immaturity and a maturity thing coming into play here and again like i said i feel you're done being um accessed on a shadow level right so this is someone meeting you on a more balanced level whoever this is of course which i'm not sure quite yet who this is could be a libra a water sign doesn't have to be this is someone who is agreeing to some sort of deal that i feel partner a has proposed here and this is something that you feel okay there's some sort of deal that they're wanting you to agree on i feel as well so this is someone who's trying to change your mind in a sense you have this idea of how things are going to be this is after you get your power back by the way 
And then partner B is kind of like, okay, but can we compromise a little bit? Can we tweak this a little bit? Is there something about this person wanting to tweak this? Anytime I see, there's certain three cards that I see that make me think of like a either a fairness situation or a situation involving documentation here. That's what I'm seeing. So partner B wants to tweak some sort of documentation or agreement with you, whether it's like a relationship or actual like documents, like actual documents. It could very well be. Um, they want to tweak, okay? You're going to be hearing about this. They want to talk about this. All right. So what else? This is someone who is wanting the um, compromise. Yeah. Well, all right then. Back to partner A, please. I feel like you're going to want to review this and you're going to review it very carefully, or at least that's what you may be saying or doing. Partner A, please. Back to partner A. Hmm. So you guys do have a certain level of like compassion for one, one another here. Whoever this is, you could be starting something new with someone in your environment, guys. Okay, there's that 10 of wands. Like the pressure, the overwhelm, like the baggage that someone was trying to do here. Um, what in the world? All right, so now we have some fire energy coming out. We also have some Aquarius energy. What's this? Temperance, not Sagittarius. Hmm. Trying to see if I get any other messages. Hold on. Okay. There's something that is coming in that you're wanting to kind of sit back from or like not let it deplete you. And like I said, this could be someone doing that on purpose to deplete you. If you catch it in time, I feel you may be able, you may be able to um, maybe not react in a certain way or kind of just be more cautious around whoever this is. You're, you're saying that this, this, whatever you're going through here is too much. It's just too much. It's very depleting. Someone just always wants to um, put their baggage onto you or you're feeling the weight of other people around you. And you're just, you get to that point where you get so upset that you say enough is enough here, King of Wands to the Ten of Swords, and you're just kind of like, absolutely not, never again. And you know, we kind of delivered this message, so I'm trying to see if anything else pops out here, because there's something important about you being um, in a state of healing from this after leaving this situation. And it's interesting because there's someone here who who is like almost trying to lure you back or lure you and again it could be to lure you into like this cycle like a negative cycle or like a shadow cycle with you um or just lure you back in in any kind of way in any kind of way okay partner b can you tell us what's going on here because partner a is saying enough is enough so partner b what's going on here for partner b please You, this could, um, well, because there's two kings here, this feels like, yeah, just be careful they don't trigger you, because I feel someone in your environment is definitely trying to trigger you, absolutely. Five of swords, telling you. So Five of Swords is an energy of someone who likes to play mind games a lot of times here. This is bringing swords to a um, situation that could have peace and beauty. But why would you do that? You know what I mean? That's kind of like what the Five of Swords means to me. It's definitely a lose-lose. But someone here has a taste of 
I don't know, like bloodlust or like, I just, you know, I want to take back control here and I don't care if anybody gets hurt, you know, this kind of thing. So let's see what else is going on. Okay. I just feel this is someone who is trying to turn a situation around. Okay. This is someone who doesn't necessarily like that a situation has ended. They feel they've lost. And they keep cycling through some sort of pain happening here. Um, I feel this is someone... Okay, this is an energy saying to me right now. Like, I don't know where the love was lost. I don't know where the compassion was lost. And it's a little bit interesting to me, I guess. Because I feel like this is someone who tried to be nice a little too late or tried to be like nicer or more compassionate a little too late, if that makes any sense to you. And then they're kind of confused as to why it happened that way. Um, okay. There's definitely an energy I could be seeing here. Okay, I just want to let you know. There could be someone being really disappointed that someone else is moving on here, but we won't get too much into that, okay? Moving on, it doesn't matter if it's with someone else. It's just definitely a moving on regardless. So when I see this Five of Swords matching your Ten of Swords, like, look at this. This is someone who is out to put, you know, these swords into someone's back. So this is not I'm not saying literally I'm not saying literally this is like a that mental game that mental warfare you know what I'm saying so they're definitely trying to come up with some sort of way to get their get this power back into their fa favor after you've cut this off guys so this is really frustrating to me and I feel this is someone I'm telling you so we called it from the beginning there's like a manipulative energy here and here it is so just be on the lookout because this is someone who is looking for a way to get power back. And sometimes this can manifest as not nice, okay? It's, it's almost like they're willing to go to um, extreme, um, extreme means to do so, even if it means people are going to be hurt in the process. This is someone willing to, like, hurt themselves, too. Um, harm themselves, not, like... I'm not saying physically, okay? Someone said that once. I'm like, no, that's not what I'm saying. But anyway, so this is interesting. Exactly. So now this person is really up in their head thinking about the past here for some reason and like the love here and how that's been changed into people hurting their hearts here and their feelings, playing games, this kind of thing. This is someone also who could have been in and out, up and down, or there were repeated hurts involving this relationship to begin with, and this got really dragged on and dreary for you. Partner A is what I'm seeing, and like I said, you just get so upset here that you turn your back, and you're like, I'm done. But then this person wants to backstab you in some way, so just keep that in mind. I mean, that's just an intention for some reason. Not very nice, but it is what it is. I think that for you, your best bet here is just to do what you're doing. And I think you know that. So, And I feel like your your perspective here is like the less contact I have with this person is probably more healthy for me. Um, regardless of how bad I feel that I actually have, like this is, this chapter has ended for me. But you, like I said, you don't want to play that mind game with this person. Whoever this is, and this doesn't have to be a romantic thing. This could be a friend, guys. Um, this really could be anybody. Seeing also some Virgo energy. What is the outcome for this time period between partner A and B, please? What happens next here, please? Love. <laughs> we got lover's card. Okay. Mm-hmm. World card and the magician. 
So this, I'm seeing this um, world card here as a protective stance, and this is a choice that is being made with the lover's card. So someone is protecting themselves here, their best interests. It's almost like you're hoping for a day that is less um, exciting because the excitement is a little too much. So this is a, I just got battery low. Um, it's like you're trying to get back to some sort of normalcy in your life, your day-to-day -day life. That's what I'm seeing here. Seven of Swords, Wheel. Oh my gosh. Again, this is someone who doesn't like that they're being dropped here and they're trying to um, change this around. They're trying to figure out a way to do so, okay? I don't mean dropped in that way. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just saying. Someone is feeling that way, like they're being left out and they don't want... Okay, absolutely. Someone here wants another chance. Wow. You guys. There's some sort of agreement that's coming in here. There is some sort of strategy that is coming in for you, Capricorn, that is going to pay off. It's like, it's almost like you could be considering if you're going to take a chance here with someone that you have like uh, an emotional connection to and with. It could be partner B as well trying to come in um, in a nicer way. We do have that three of pentacles on both of these. But regardless, there's some sort of good judgment call involving um, a deal and a document or just some sort of emotional cooperative relationship um you have an ace of cups coming in you may need to make a good judgment call regarding um, a choice here it could be a choice in love or it could just be a choice in general okay because someone here has an emotional offer for you i'm not sure if you knew it but let's see if we can pinpoint some signs here there could be a Scorpio or a Pisces that you are um, coming to an agreement with. There could be a Scorpio who has an Ace of Cups for you as well. Um, this could also be like a Sagittarius energy, so it could be either of those. You have a Gemini here. There's some sort of karmic clearing or cycle closing that is opening way for a new beginning involving an ace of cups so these are just a few signs it doesn't have to matter just know that you have an ace of cups coming in regardless and this is like a really good like feel good energy don't be alarmed by the seven of swords in this instance this feels kind of like you're you're wanting to take a chance so it's almost like you're um You're going to make a decision if you want to make take a chance here with someone in a romantic sense or yeah there's just empathy there there's emotions a lot of emotions coming in this is beautiful i like that yeah there could be a commitment coming in or an agreement coming in with a sagittarius a taurus pisces could be watching aquarius wants to build a happy home this kind of thing I hope that makes sense, guys. This is actually really beautiful. You go from all that nonsense to something really gorgeous. So, I don't know. For those of you that still want to continue with Partner B, um, I do see indications that this person could be making a change here. I would say to that, if you trust them and you believe them, then they, then they may be being honest, okay? So definitely this is someone who is trying to switch things around as well um of course you know them so take that as you will you know this person more than i would but i'm just saying it's like they're making a, a last effort here from being really mean and yeah you could, and again you could also just have a really good deal that you're making with partner B to call it quits here too. So it's kind of like, okay, this is how it's going to be. Do you agree to that? And they're kind of like, okay, and there's a compromise here. And then you can walk away in peace 
Moving on to your Ace of Cups. So this is, there's several different things going on here, obviously. All right. Advice guidance, please. But definitely because you have the wheel in the very center here, your decision that you're making is going to be extremely fortunate for you. Like, yeah, I, I don't see any problems with your decision at all. Between partner A and B here, please. And that is also you closing out some negative stuff, some negativity, you know. Between partner A, no, 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 for Capricorn. No wonder they're not coming out. I'm not asking properly. Advice guidance for Capricorn, please. <laughs> no wonder. Advice guidance. I haven't seen the moon in a while. I wonder why. Fortune, bottom of the deck, we have forgiveness. Look at that. Wow. Okay. Ooh-wee. Partner B is really sorry. Okay. Anyway, you got partner B really wanting to make some adequate changes here um, in the future. It's almost like please forgive, we can change, or at least some sort of agreement comes in that is, I told you, very fortunate for you. You have the fortune energy. Whatever this is, it probably is in your best interest to um, forgive. And the thing is, I'm not saying go back to an unhealthy dynamic. Absolutely not. I mean, you should know if you're in a bad situation, you probably shouldn't be in, then don't do it. But I'm just saying that for those of you that know. But this, I'm saying forgiveness as in, um, which is always easier said than done, right? But forgiveness is not only for the other person. It's actually mostly for you so that you can move on and not be affected by your past or whatever's been experienced here. And a lot of times they say you have to forgive um, yourself too and whatever you carry with you so that you can release that. You know what I'm saying? Anyway... You have fortune coming in and success. So this is beautiful. It's your fortune card with that wheel there. You got wheel of fortune coming in. You have a great opportunity, a beautiful opportunity coming your way, especially with the Ace of Cups. It's almost like it's being offered to you guys. It's like a, mm -hmm. yeah, that's what I'm getting. But of course this happens after the world card. So this happens after clearing. Um, wow. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the red goddess. Look at that. It says playfulness is a spiritual power. Laughter leads me back to the light. So where could you use a little more, um, lightness in your life? Because you've been through some stuff here resulting in 10 of wands and the 10 of swords. So I feel like this is saying that it's time for you to reassess and try to find areas in life that you can enjoy or have a good time or it's like you're going through a metamorphosis here and changing the bad times and opening the way for lighter happier energies to come in so if that's like some kind of dance lesson i don't know maybe we're taking them online even this day and age but it could be anything that makes you happy maybe a good friend or maybe even watching a comedy yeah something whatever you guys like Okay, what do we got here? The Princess of Mercy. See, again, we have a forgiveness energy. Wow. It's almost like you have to forgive someone for not knowing better. Isn't that interesting? Because I'm feeling like someone was playing these weird, immature games, which we kind of talked about. But it's like, okay, you know, maybe they didn't know better. Maybe they'll learn their lesson. Maybe they'll change from this or maybe this was the lesson they needed remember we saw the justice card okay this says giving is receiving the energy of the universe is merciful if you bring in the energy of the universe then i'm pretty sure this will be a lot easier here giving is receiving yeah what you what you put out there you will get back that's also what's being said here Embodying the energy of the universe here, probably. I don't know. I just feel like you're getting your groove back, guys. And this is great fortune coming your way. Can I be a Capricorn today? <laughs> I love you guys so very much. 
If this resonated with you, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I read all your comments, I really do. Um, feel free to check your other placements, your friends, your family members, your neighbors. Peeping Tom down the street, check his placements too, so we know what he's up to. And I love you so very much, Capricorn and whoever else. See you guys next time. Kisses. Bye.